you're seeing this on a court cam type TV, so it's zoomed in and it's kind of the best quality I could find. So it's a little hard to see, but that's why. I can't breathe. Stop. I can't breathe. What? As open as I can breathe. That's all I'm asking for is to breathe. Just, I'm just asking to breathe. That's it. It's to breathe. That's all I want to do is breathe. 2600 Avenue. We're right no, by right Pretty Horses on 70. I'm not resisting her. Hey everyone, happy Friday. So, as most of you know who watch my channel, we don't monetize true crime type videos. But, I don't see anything wrong as long as you're being respectful to cover true crime. So, what I've been doing, I've been following the Gannon case for years now. And I just wanted to send you over to a good channel who is respectful, who is covering the trial, and that's Sleuth Mom. So I'll give you a little preview here, and then I hope you head over and check it out. I've been watching it daily. Thursdays they take off, and weekends they take off, but if you'd like to check it out, the links will be in the description. So this is kind of crazy, so alert, alert, trigger warning! But happy Friday everyone, and I hope to see you soon. You may go ahead. Well, actually, before I get into to publishing that. Um, so what are we about to see in, in People's Exhibit 338, just to give some co context? The first clip is a, um, a view of Letitia, along with Deputy James in the back seat of the van. They're sitting in captain seats. And uh, during that portion of the video, you can see Letitia moving around slightly. And that's because her hands are um, handcuffed to a belly band around her waist. And she is manipulating her hands out of the handcuffs. And she obtains a monster energy can and she strikes Deputy James in the face with that full unopened can of monster energy drink and then struggles with Deputy James. Um, I myself have noted several pre-contact cues where she is glancing at Deputy James' waist area where her gun was kept. And then ultimately, whenever I come back to assist Deputy James once the vehicle is stopped, she also glances at my waist where my gun is kept. Um, I took that to be a threat that she was attempting to obtain one of our weapons. Um, so let's have some context. Where did this occur in that travel from South Carolina to Colorado? This is on in Kansas on Interstate 70. What approximate speed were you all traveling when this occurred? About 75 miles an hour. What was the reaction to this um, action by the defendant to who was driving? Uh, Deputy Riley was. What was his reaction to that happening in the backseat of the van? Um, we immediately start giving commands to Letitia to stop. And as we're doing that, Deputy Riley pulled over to the shoulder of the interstate. Um, thankfully, there was an area clear for us to pull over, and he slammed on the brakes, which put her into the back seat of my seat. Um, was that a highly dangerous uh, situation that was unfolding? Absolutely, yes. What made it highly dangerous? Um, Ms. Stout was already suspected of murder, and she assaulted a, a deputy who was armed and attempted to obtain her firearm. Um, what about the fact that you're on the highway and, and that action or reaction by <laughs> Detective Riley had to occur? Did that also enhance the dangerousness of it? Yes, he wasn't able to exit the vehicle to immediately help us because of traffic that was traveling so quickly next to us. All right, let's go ahead and play that. And I believe it's 21 minutes. Would you like me to stay up for this? Uh, is it I'm fine with yes, roughly that. Okay, you can go ahead and step down. Thank you. For those who have not been following the Gannon trial from the beginning, this is just one of many, many crazy things that she, she has done. So if you get time, you can go back and check out Sleuth Mom. She's got a lot of it and pretty much all of, like documented. So go check it out on Sleuth Mom. This is literally just one of many crazy things that she has done. She keeps on threatening me, and I stopped it. She keeps on it. She keeps on. 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 She keeps
Teacher? I will with you. I said I will with you. Leave me alone now. I said I will with you. I said I will with you. Yeah, I will with you. Stop. 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 Stop resisting. I said I will with her. Go ahead. I got her on. I have some. Sure. Her. Stop I'm not going resisting. Yes, you are. Stop it. Yep. <laughs> Just stop it. I'm not even doing anything. You just got another charge. Well, she shouldn't be doing me like this. Stop trying to turn. I'm not trying to turn. You can say that way the rest of the trip. This is what we want to do. We want to the nearest detention facility. Oh, we're having redness. Could you could you please untie it from my hands? I'll bring it off your chair. Yes, it's all my it's all my arms. Lean forward. Yes, lean forward. So I can address it. Stop manipulating. Stop hitting you. You good? You make call yet? No, I don't know where we're at. Okay, hang on. Lock the doors. I don't know where to Can you turn the air on? Well, I asked for help for the air, and she's been nothing but mean to me the whole day. I can't breathe. Stop. I can't breathe. What's happening is I can breathe. That's all I'm asking for is to breathe. Just, I'm just asking to breathe. That's it. It's to breathe. That's all I want to do is breathe. 2600 Avenue. Right Definitely make sure you watch what happens before this because her saying she needs to breathe eh, becomes kind of ridiculous at this point. So definitely make sure that you watch all that happens before this and continue watching it. It is insanity. And I don't believe that she is insane. For anyone that's wondering, on 70. I'm not resisting her. You're hurting my arm. My phone's cold. You're hurting my arm. You're hurting my arm. I just it's hurting my arm. Just let my arm out. It's hurting my arm. Why you press against me the harder I'm gonna press on the point. it's not the pressure point, it's my arm. It's okay. a bit backwards and it's hurting. Can you just see yes, the front detective Bethel with the Opasa County Sheriff's Office? Please off my arm. Yeah, I'm I'm not not to the twenty six hundred block of it's pulling up in the state seven. Pulling my wrist, please. He was like a baby for the house in custody. It's just a tentative escape. We should try and resist her. I didn't try to say you did try. No, I didn't open the door. The brain. Yes, ma'am. I'm on I-70 westbound in the 2600 block. We were, calm. we were not doing anything, correct? Can you please, but as it was my, 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 let me speak first, okay? Okay. Let's see. You can try to open that door. Remember the last moment that we hit? The door so I could breathe. It's hot. I asked you to help me. Could you just lean over and don't help? I said, hey, could you please find out how to turn the air on? Hey, the whole time you've been nothing but rude to me. Tisha. I'm just putting my arm down because it's hot. I didn't try to escape or anything. I legit opened up the door to breathe. Detective Joseph Bethel with the Impossible Bank Sheriff's Office. Oh, my arm is hurting. I am in a gray Chrysler minivan, very Michigan place. We have the hazards on and we're on the shoulder of the road. Oh, let's pick it up. You say you look arm. I, 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 I appreciate it. Nope. He's assaulted. <laughs> oh, it's hurting. Boy, Edward Tom, Henry, Edward, and again. hurting my arm. It's hurting. Eight, four of 83 is her birthday. I did not try to escape. No, ma'am. I have two other deputies with me. Yeah. SRT. Could not breathe. I actually opened the door. Yeah. We've got her under yes, control right now. We've got uh, Kansas coming out here now. Well, we're going to. 
well, we're going to get some some other equipment to at least secure her, or at least have them. Somebody take us or escort us to the border and then have 1 of our people come to the border. All right, well, that was crazy. Please go and check out Sleuth Mom to finish up the day. Today is Friday, so it's going to end, and then we'll have the weekend off, and then I guess Monday it will start back up again. But there's way more that happens after this, so please make sure you go to Sleuth Mom to finish watching the trial. Friday trial. I'll see you there. Justice for Gannon. Justice for Gannon. Justice for Gannon.